Hello friends, today I would like to review this natural cotton raffia yarn. That's the label that it is advertised and I got this raffia yarn or fiber from Amazon and the brand is natural raffia straw yarn although it's advertised as cotton but when you look at the material detail it is 100 percent polyester and 100 percent cellulose and this is very stiff and you cannot crochet it like you would with uh, a regular yarn because the fiber is different in texture. It is rough, so it will be rough on your fingers. And if I crochet it using the method uh, I use for crocheting cotton crochet thread or yarn, uh, I will have a, a sore finger after hours of crocheting. So what I'm going to do is is hold the yarn like this instead of uh, twisting it around my finger. So I will crochet it this way. That way the, the fiber does not rub on my fingers at all. And you can also change the way you hold your hook, your crochet hook, hold it like that. I'm more awkward this, this method. But this is easier for me to hold a hook like like that, the traditional way of holding the hook. So there's a lot of resistance because like I said, this is a stiff, very stiff fiber. So if you crochet this kind of straw yarn or raffia yarn, don't expect to crochet it as easily as you would with uh, with acrylic yarn because you will be very disappointed. Just uh, know that this is a different fiber. And so it has a different uh, texture. So I'm, I'm gaining speed uh, crocheting it. I started very slow. And I'm trying to make a hat. And as you can see, that's, that's uh, the way it looks now, crocheted. But I really like the texture of this because it has a body to the work. And this is also a 306 yards. And it's supposed to be enough for making a hat. And we will see. And I'm using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I will let you know how it turns out because this is the first time I'm crocheting this kind of fiber. And so the crocheting part is really a lot slower than regular yarn. But it can be done. 
and you can you will get faster as you get used to the texture of the fiber and so this is it and I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it helps with your crafting projects. Thank you for watching.